I have a small confession. I'm something of a nerd. And when I code, it's geek out mode and housework gets deferred. Now I'm cool with thermodynamics, but not that second law that entropy is meant to be increasing on my floor. So twice a year I fight it. I fold and sort and clean with energy and cups of tea and everything between. I sort through bits and pieces, decide where each should dwell. I'd put away, but sad to say, it's messy there as well. So first I'll fill some boxes and make a neater pile. It's pretty rough, but still some stuff can stay there for a while. I take things from the middle and I move them to the wall. I'll make a stack, afraid I lack a place to put it all. I put away the bits and bobs, clear tabletops and clean them. Their dust is old, and truth be told, it's ages since I've seen them. I gather up my key rings, my pictures, and my shoes, prepare my feet to face the heat that all this work imbues. It's quite a feat to finish, I'm not sure if I can, but where there's will there's ways until the floor is spick and span. Now I may have only tidied a tiny little nook, but I can bluff, I'm smart enough to show you where to look. But oh, now look what I have done. I have moved the mess around. Now I have to chuck the chaff from another rubbish mound. I gather up the dirty clothes to launder when I'm done. I truly pant for cleaner pants, for right now I have none. I zig and zag around the house and zoom like Supergirl. And for a laugh I grab a scarf and take it for a twirl. I'll take my oldest souvenirs and toss them if I must. Then clear a chair and sit right there to sneeze out all the dust. Now dust'll maybe harm my health and maybe even dirt'll, but a pile of litter'll make me fitter just like a racer's hurdle. My sea legs trained in captain's mess, I'm sure this seaman's able to salvage wrecks and swab the decks of cards on my night table. My winter dig unearths remains of exploits bright and estival, a settler stand, you understand, a poster of a festival. So finding there's an empty spot, I put it on my wall and needn't wait to reinstate another long since fallen. Enough of decoration, I think of all the rest that I could get when in my bed with bedclothes newly dressed. For such success at cleaning is getting to my head. Well, that and dust mites, but now it's just right, I'm getting into bed. The morning's here, I can't deny, there's still a lot of mess. I'll have to go all out to clean up the fallout of yesterday's success. There's really too much stuff here, but I know what I'll do. I'll pack this crap in postal wrap and send it off to you. So now you know the honest truth of every gift I send. You must be touched to learn how much I'm glad that you're my friend. Now where to start and what to do, and where to put this calendar? Well, I'll be done. It's not the one of this year that we're well into. The next you know I'll find a bill that isn't ancient knowledge. But will I pay? No, not today. I'll go put out the garbage. I won't put these old lampshades up. It's way too hard, you see. I'm sure I'll find another use. Yippee! Hurrah! Go me! Recycle this and throw out that and give some stuff away. Thank God for Jesus, I'll give these as gifts on Christmas Day. To clear some room, I'll have to move an extra dining chair. It's off to waste another space, but you won't see it there. I take my bedroom clutter and I put it in the kitchen. A spell to hide is thus applied, for now's the time for witching. I pick things up and put things down and fly around the room. Though not a Wiccan, I'm quite quick and handy with a broom. I wish that I could banish mess with sparkly coloured vapour, but destiny's requesting me to pick up bits of paper. Well, paper's not so bad, I guess, if commemorating shows. On the door to my loo is explosion of poo, and there's Sarah above my photos. But while I like the neatness and the decor I've designed, I must admit my favourite bit is all the things I find.
A sand rose from Tunisia with socks in my top drawer. And even better, a giant wetter, but wait, there's even more. A wind chime and a few toy trucks, a box of foreign euros, a plectrum and some cinnamon? That's not normal for bureaus. There's no room here, there's no room there, there's no room on the shelf. So I'll get reckless, make a necklace, decorate myself. But even I have just one head, and too much headwear, that's why all my aides are wearing shades, and shades are wearing hats. Now all this work is nearly done, I think I'm getting hot, and then I sneeze from some disease, and think, oh, no I'm not. I'm rushed, but not swept off my feet, alarmed by falling light, for it's a sin to make a din when after ten at night. One more bag of rubbish. And one more little sweep. There's no more grime. It's finally time to clear a space to sleep.